Hello everybody, we are going to be making some patterns on the Rubik's Cube today. So the first pattern is a T pattern. So first, let's solve it and it's pretty easy to solve. If you know, of course, the C pop. Also, it will take you a long time. For this, I just use F2L. Hope you could see the cube. You know what? Yes. Okay. Now you're able to see the cube properly. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So what we want right now is we want this pair to be over here, that pair over here and so on. For that, we're going to use the algorithm R. You're gonna use R, U, R prime. You see this pair gets out of this place over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it up and you see that pair gets inserted over here and now we have to move it like this so in the c pop you might recognize this case you go like that that and that you see that gets so basically what you want is this pair which goes usually goes over here when you wanted to insert it over here so again here is going to be pretty easy the c pop method again up this way and down see that like this that gets inserted and finally this pair the same case up there down see over here you could use it but what i like to do is use r u no you just try to solve the yellow layer as you do it see that gets and basically imagine that this we are going to focus on this top layer. So here you could just use the same algorithm which you use to solve it. So you have like a, these two in the front. So I would do is R, U, R, no, wait a second. You, you use it like that, I guess. So you use R prime, F, R prime, then B2, then R, then F prime, then R prime, then B2 again. Now, two, now R2. You see, you get this pair. So what you are going to do is you're going to hold the green side or whichever side you chose. It's going to be over here. So you're going to use that. You're going to use so you're gonna face it backwards you're gonna do like no you're gonna have this pair in the front so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do f2 then u yep that's u prime so then then r that's basically r you just solve the you solve it normally so you see you get this one so you're gonna have to do that again the same just basically do what you normally do to solve it you see you should end up with something like this with something like this you're gonna just move it you if you do it you that's it you got a t pattern a t pattern who oh, wants some tea <laughs> So that's the T pattern you got there. And basically to solve it, it's pretty easy. You don't you don't need to reverse all the algorithms. All you need to do is you just need to solve it the regular way. You could you could do it. It's pretty easy. So you get the like this, the same thing. And you could easily solve it. So you can you see we get the same case over here. Now what you're gonna do is See, that gets solved now. Yep. 
see one more time there you see that gets solved now what you're going to do is you're going to make something called the trick pattern i know some of you guys might know it what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do r u you're gonna rotate your cube or the you're gonna make sure that the color that goes next I and mean the, le the left side of it goes in front of you like that now you're going to do the same algorithm and you're gonna keep doing it you're gonna keep doing it until you get something like i'm gonna show you it's gonna take a while though Okay, by the time if you uh, anyways you're just seeing me do this so why don't you just go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and we'll then that would save you some time so you will get something like this with the yellow on top and white on the bottom so now what you're going to do is you're going to rotate it m2 then you're gonna you, you're gonna move it like the right side or the left side when I rotate your cube left side, and you get that. So basically, it's just uh, if you know the C fob, you could just do the normal algorithm. You just need these two corners work, or else you could just do R U R prime U prime then L U. I mean L U prime then L then U. And then what you're going to do is you're going to reverse that algorithm in the same way. You just get the this side solved. You could just do it the way you solve it. I'm going to do it like this. You see? Can you guess it solved? Can you guess it? Can you guess it? Sorry for asking those many times. But look. You see, all of these sides are solved, except you get the checkerboard pattern on top. Checkerboard on top and on the bottom. How cool is that? You, you could trick your family members with that. You just go like, hey, look, I solved the cube. Can you guess if I solved it or not? They, uh, if they say no, then they might be correct. See? And anyways, this is just a Roxanda cube. I showed you the cube set. I showed you the that day. Yes, this is the basically the same thing. If you're wondering how do I do it so quickly, so yes, I just take these two fingers. I rotate it using my index finger. And then I do it with my middle finger. It goes like this. Or you could just do it like this. And of course, you see this. This gets out. So in my next video, someday, sometime, I'm going to actually take out all the center pieces like a V2 cube. And I'm going to try to solve it. That would be actually pretty cool. I never done that before. I mean, I have, but I never made it into a video or something. So let's solve it. So if for the next thing, if you're from India, you can you can you can do this on the Independence Day, something like that. So I'm gonna show you how to make an Indian flag. So first, we need to solve the cube. Just solve the normal way you do. You don't need to follow my steps. The exact way I do it. See, it's solved. Now, the for the Indian flag, what you need to do is you you need these two edge pieces white. So that's like that. Now, if you remember from the Indian flag, you have like a orange strip on top and green strip on bottom so first we need is like an orange strip on the top so like that now we need the green on the bottom you can actually see that 
is already kind of looks like a Danian flag. So you could just normally flip it over and you can see that you see this. I mean, you just need the green over here. What you're gonna do is you might get this pattern. Just imagine that the green is on the bottom. You're just trying to get these two pieces down. They could just use the F2L. Well. You just need these green pieces facing down. So what I like to do is I go like that. You see that? Basically, it's done. See, that's the Indian flag you got there. Probably sometime I will make an American flag. Hmm? I don't know. It's just some mystery. That's what it's called a prep. So, yesterday was the history. Today, yesterday was the history. And tomorrow is a mystery. And today is a gift. That's why it's called a present. So that was it. Do not forget to subscribe on the water. And that's it. Bye.